For nearly 100 years, Brigham and Women's Hospital has regarded community service as really a central tenet of our mission. In fact, our founder, Peter Bent Brigham, established the hospital in this location to serve the people uh, in the neighborhood. And yet, uh, over the past hundred years, we've seen how our mission has grown uh, to be a national and now an international mission. In this era of globalization, our community is now worldwide. When you consider the multilingual and multinational makeup of our patients as well as the staff, there really can be no other conclusion. Without question, the future of medicine truly is global. And in fact, medical research has been global for many decades. What has changed is that more recently, patient care has become global as well. And so what are the drivers behind this? Well, first and foremost, I think that there's a growing recognition around the world that access to health care is a basic human right. Certainly the global pandemics from HIV AIDS to SARS and swine flu have certainly taught us that pandemics know no boundaries. And second, we know that many health ministries or governments in low to middle income countries have begun to recognize that poor public health constitutes a barrier to economic growth. So in terms of obstacles, the greatest challenge that we face right now is a lack of resources. What we really need now is something akin to a medical Marshall Plan. Quite simply, the health of people around the world really depends upon our ability to collaborate and move our health care forward. Partners Healthcare is an integrated academic medical network. It was founded by the Brigham and Women's Hospital and the Massachusetts General Hospital and now encompasses a, a group of community hospitals and physician practices. And as such, we bring a unique set of capabilities to bear upon many of the challenges facing global health today. As my dear friend and colleague Paul Farmer has stated, in order to elevate the, the health of virtually any population in the developing world, you need three things, research, teaching, and clinical care service. One or two out of the three isn't good enough. Not if you're gonna to try to break an established cycle of poverty and disease. Because Partners Healthcare integrates all three, clinical care, research, and education, we integrate these actions every day. We understand how to link science and technology with patient care, and we understand how to train the next generation of doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers who will then utilize the latest medical techniques and bring the best in medical care to patients around the world. These really are the areas where we believe Partners Healthcare can have the greatest impact on global health. I would say that intellectual curiosity is Boston's lifeblood. Across our city, our academic institutions are really driven by the conviction that all people have a right to health care and to life-saving medicines. And given the tremendous investment in our local medical and scientific infrastructure, we feel a real moral obligation to share our discoveries with hospitals and universities with people around the world. Anytime we gain a new insight or make a new discovery, that sense of optimism here really becomes palpable. For our medical students with international career aspirations in particular, there are a number of fabulous programs, one of which is our Global Health Residency Program here at Brigham Women's Hospital and the Massachusetts General Hospital. These programs are among the first of their kind in the United States and they offer truly unique educational opportunities for medical students who seek global health training within a traditional residency program. Through our sister organization, Partners in Health, staff from Brigham and Women's Hospital have been working on the ground in Haiti for over 30 years. 
So there's clearly a unique history there, as well as clear evidence of our long-term commitment. In order to play a meaningful role in the future, we continue to work in concert with the Ministry of Health in Haiti, and we rely upon them to guide us. Every initiative we undertake involves training Haitians and building local capacity. At this moment, our staff are involved in two major projects in Haiti. One is the establishment of a new teaching hospital in Mirabele. The other is the development of a new center of excellence for rehabilitation and rehab training within the grounds of St. Nicholas Hospital in St. Mark. Educating and empowering local health care providers is really the heart and soul of both of these efforts. I grew up uh, in this hospital having trained uh, as a resident in medicine and cardiology, and now I have the pleasure of coming back 25 years later and serving uh, as president of the hospital. What I feel is the tremendous commitment towards excellence in patient-centered care of all of our physicians, our nurses, our care providers, all staff within the hospital. This is a tremendous hospital where patients and their families are put first. We want to deliver the absolute best care, whether you come from a neighborhood here in Boston, from the other side of the United States, or from around the world. We're here to provide the best possible care to you and your family.